This is what everyone's been talking about. There's new Light Sworn support. There's new Light Sworn support, and um, I don't know. I even though, even though Light Sworn has always been this incredibly like Gamba deck. You know, from back in the day, you know, mill cards, try to hit your wolves and all that kind of shit. You know, super gamba. I always liked Lightsworn. I have a I have a special place in my heart for Lightsworn, mainly because Lightsworn was one of my first uh like quote unquote very competitive decks back in like 2009, I believe. It came out in 2008, I think, but I couldn't afford them when they dropped. But then when they got the first couple of reprints, I was able to play some Lightsworn. Uh, and like together with Gladiator Beast, those two were like my first, uh, you know, meta decks at the time. So I have some pretty fond memories of Light Swarms, even though, you know, they have the they have the Gamba aspect to it. But, you know, and based on the reactions online, like I said, I haven't read those cards yet. We're going to do so in a moment. Um, I've seen some hype around this, but like I haven't read the cards yet. So let's 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 hop right in. We have Dragon of Light Sworn. Which looks like a mini Judgment Dragon, which is very cute. Uh, we have level 4 Light Dragon Effect Monster. 1500 attack, 39 defense. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you have a Light Sworn Monster in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can send a Light Sworn card from your deck to the graveyard, except the Dragon of Light Sworn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a dragon monster with 3,000 attack, 2,600 defense from your deck to your hand. That card's pretty damn broken, man. Like, right off the bat, this card is broken. You can search this shit with... This card is called Light Sworn, right? You can search it with Charge of the Light Brigade. This guy's broken. The, I mean, the thing is, this card is... I mean, okay. So, you have to get a Light Sworn card into the graveyard first. This is not like a... It's not like a circular memento where, like, it's just a one-card starter and does everything. You do have to somehow get a Light Sworn to the graveyard before you can use this thing. Um, but it is pretty damn strong. Because sending one Light Sworn card from the deck to the graveyard... Uh, you can get a wolf, you can get a Felis, so it's a free body. It's a, it's, this is a rank 4 Xyz if you want to, so you can make Minerva. Uh, it's, uh, it, it sends a level 4 tuner if you want to, like Felis. You know, that card's really good. And then, the, the one thing that I like about this card, and at the same time, I don't like about this card, because it's not very in archetype, is that it has nothing to do with randomness. Right? It, ha it's, it does have, it has nothing to do with um with milling it it's it's very controlled right as long as you get a light sworn card into the graveyard you just you're good to go with this thing right it has no gamba aspect which is of course from a game design perspective I, that's a good thing right <laughs> I, that's good uh from a light sworn perspective that's that's pretty off you know pretty pretty much not in archetype um the third effect is also pretty good, of course, because it doesn't require it, unless the translation is wrong, it doesn't say, like, if this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard or anything like that. If you just make a synchro or exceed with this, and then you detach it, or it just goes to the grave as a synchro material, you get to search Judgment Dragon, or I believe Punishment Dragon has the same stats. I actually don't know. I've never played with Punishment Dragon. I'm assuming Punishment Dragon has the same stats. Otherwise, they would probably just say add a Judgment Dragon from deck to your hand. But it says, it says, yeah, so has the same stats. Okay, I don't remember actually what the effect of Punishment Dragon is. But I will say Judgment Dragon or Punishment Dragon respectively have, have both never really seen play in Lightsworn outside of the very first. When they released the archetype, it was a Judgment Dragon deck. But then Lightsworn came back at some point in like 20... 15, 16, you know, but at that point, you didn't play Judgment Dragon anymore. But let's see. I mean, maybe this wants you. This this makes you. I mean, if I'm playing this card in my Light Sworn deck, I'm probably playing a target for it. Like at least one, I I would think. Unless you just use it as an engine in other decks, but then it's it seems hard to fulfill the Light Sworn monster in the graveyard condition if you're not playing a deck with a lot of Light Sworns. But 
We have another Light Sworn level 4, Fiend, Fiend Tuner, Vice Light Sworn Archfiend. You can only use the first and second effect once per turn. You can place one other Light Sworn card from your hand on the top of the deck. Special summon this card from your hand, then send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard, you can target a Light Sworn in your grave special summon. Okay, that one's nice. This one is nice. It's not broken, I don't think. It's definitely not as broken as the first one. But the fact that, I mean, if you're playing a Light Sworn deck, they clearly want you to play. They clearly want you to play um, Wolf and Felis again, right? You want to play Wolf and Felis. And if you draw these together with this, it's actually quite good. You know, because you, yeah. I My prediction is for this card, if you play Wolf and Felis, you definitely play this card at least as a one of. Maybe even probably more, but like maybe as a, at the minimum, you would play one copy so that you can surge it with charge. Right? Like, if you draw Felis and you have a charge, you just go charge, mill three, add this, put the Felis on top, get both onto the board, make a Minerva, go from there, you know? Um, good card. Good card. Combo. I mean, that's the thing, right? I, we're not going to look at any combo videos because I believe Lightsworn, like, it's just always going to be Gamba, right? It's always going to be Gamba. Here's a one card combo video. I mean... Hold up. No, I'll, no, no, we're not going to look at... What, what, dude, it's all Gamba anyways. Let's read the cards first. Ooh, we have a Judgment Dragon Fusion Monster. Enlightenment Dragon. Level 10 Light Dragon Fusion. Materials, Judgment Dragon, and Punishment Dragon. Must be special summoned by banishing the above cards from your field and graveyard. One from each. Ooh. Okay. Once per turn, quick effect, you can pay 2,000 life points, banish all other cards on the field and in the graveyards. Once per turn during the end phase, send the top four cards of your deck to the grave. If this card is destroyed by your opponent, you can add one each of your banished Judgment Dragon and Punishment Dragon to your hand. Then you can special summon both, ignoring their summoning conditions. Okay. So we need a Judgment Dragon or a Punishment Dragon on the board, and we need the other one in the graveyard. That's pretty cool. That's pretty flavorful. I like that. That is definitely not easy to summon. That is not easy to summon, but it's a pretty powerful card going first and second, because, I mean, quick effect banishing everything. Field and graveyard is pretty powerful. I think this is the moment where I have to do... I have to do it. I have to read Punishment Dragon. Because, I mean, I sure as hell remember what Judgment Dragon does, but Punishment Dragon, I've read, like, once, and that was, like, seven years ago, or whenever that card came out. Six years ago. Punishment Dragon. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summoned by possessing four or more banished Lightsworn monsters with different names. Once per turn, quick effect. Pay a thousand life points. Shuffle into the decks all cards in the graveyard and face up banished cards except Lightsworn monsters. Once per turn, if your Light Sworn Monsters effects activate, send the top four cards to the graveyard. Okay. Uh, I mean, the card is not very good, is the thing. Punishment Dragon, which is funny. It's funny because it came out like eight or nine years after Judgment Dragon. I would argue this card is way, way, way worse than even just. Judgment Dragon. Right? Like, Judgment Dragon is just uh, is just a better card than Punishment Dragon, I think. Uh, I mean, Punishment Dragon is a quick effect, so you can interrupt your opponent's graveyard. But the thing is, setting up four banished Lightsworns is so much harder than setting up four in the graveyard, because Lightsworn is all about milling. Because this one was part of the... This one's technically part of, like, the Twilight Sworn stuff, right? Check the price. Oh, I can already tell. It only has one printing, man. Oh, no. It only has one printing. What have you done? What have you done? Punishment. Dragon. Oh, God, no. Oh, nah, man. Oh, God. Uh, 16 bucks is the cheapest one from Germany. 
Oh god, man. There's not many at all. Oh shit. Like that. Like, look, chat, 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 chat. Even if even if these cards are like good, these are good cards. Just to be clear. Are we done yet? No, there's more. Oh, there's a synchro. Okay. Uh let's read all of it before I say anything. This does this card's good. Um but I I'm not even sure if, if you want to play both of the dragons, but yeah. We have a new Minerva, which, I mean, the Minerva Exceed is pretty damn custom. So let's look at the Synchro. Uh, level 8 Synchro, so easy to make in the deck. You know, Raiden, Felis, level 4 tuners everywhere. It's pretty easy. You can only use the first and third effect once per turn each. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can send Lightsworn Monster with different types from your deck to the grave up to the number... Okay. Okay. So I make this with two Lightsworns. I make this with two Lightsworns and I just sent is, uh, two Lightsworns with different types. Felis? What's Felis type? Because Wolf is a Beast Warrior. What's Felis? Not also a Beast Warrior. They're both Beast Warriors. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I thought I thought you could send Felis and Wolf. Uh, but I guess you can send this one. You can send this one to just revive a Lightsworn. You're gonna have Lightsworns in the graveyard because, you know, you made this, right? Yeah. The baby dragon. I mean, you can also send this to search a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, this card's very good. Okay, I'm not even done reading it. Light Swarm monsters you control can't be banished by card effects. Okay, I don't know why that is here, but okay. You can banish up to four Light Swarms from your grave. Send that many cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Okay, that... This line makes it so that the punishment dragon gets a lot more realistic because now we have an accessible extra deck card that can enable the Punishment Dragon on its own, right? Uh, that doesn't make it, like, broken on its own, but it's like, you know, that's all right. The second is for Enlightenment. Oh, right, you get to keep all your things when you do this. Right, 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 right. Okay. But then you have to keep this on the board. I'm not sure how much you want to keep this on the board, right? Like, cards like... Cards like Minerva, the, the Exceed, they've always been there. Just like you, you mill with them and then you want to get rid of them. But this, yeah, okay, I get it. This card's very good. This card's very, very strong. Uh, and then we have Lightsworn Aegis, a trap card. You can only use the first and second effect once per turn. Target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of Lightsworn monsters you control. Negate their effects until the end of this turn. If this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard, you can set it. Um... Oh, you know why this card is good? You know why this card is good? Because it can negate... It can just negate normal spell cards. It can negate spell cards. Like, at first... My, my first instinct in the first second after I read it, I was like, okay, that's just like an imperm that if you mill it, you get it for free. You know, which is like, okay, right? Like, because, like, I mean, negating multiple things, if your opponent knows about this card, is going to be hard. Because usually, I mean, your opponent can just, like, start playing and force this card out um, with, like, one monster. And then you only negate one card. But, like, the fact that you can negate spell cards with this as well is, is pretty damn good. Um, Yeah. But I still don't know if you would want to play a card like that. Because, like, drawing it is not going to be great. Milling it is, of course, great. Going second is not very good. I'm not sure if you would play it. Maybe you would side it. Like, maybe you would... Maybe you... I could see a world where you play, like, a Light Sworn deck. Uh, if you even play a Light Sworn deck. Uh, you would side deck this card for going first, right? For To negate all kinds of... You can negate evenly. Uh, you can negate Dark Ruler. All that kind of stuff, right? That's something I could see, right? But I don't. It's definitely the worst out of the new cards. But okay. All right. Let's talk. Let's let's think about this for a second. It's hard to evaluate Lightsworn cards 
It's very, very hard to evaluate Lightsworn cards because of how much randomness there is to, to Lightsworns. Now, the cool thing about these new cards is that a lot of it is not random. Like, a, a lot of the effects for these are guaranteed, which is one way how you make Lightsworns viable in this year. Um, yeah. Like, you could... Yeah. Best combo video? Hold up. Is there actually, like, a controlled combo for this? Hold up. This will be every lights one combo we do. Oh, it's is it gonna be like mill three wolves? Yeah, they mill three wolves. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Realized. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. I mean, that is the thing, though, right? Like, that's the thing. How are you going to evaluate Light Swords, man? How are you going to evaluate Light Swords? Uh, because, like, the, the thing is, the deck is not going to have any spreadsheet lines that you're just going to be like, okay, those are good, those are bad, whatever, you know? The one thing I will say is Lightsworn has a couple of actually really, really good cards for the archetype, right? And and milling, random milling, I mean, literally not even a year ago, you know, Troll Despair, Ishizu Tier Limit, literally Tier 0 by so much. Uh, like, milling is not a completely unviable strategy in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, that could happen, right? That did happen a year ago, right? Like, milling cards is not a bad thing. If your deck is is set up for it. And the thing is, Light Swarns do have a lot of really good cards. I mean, freaking Charge of the Light Brigade is a really strong card. Uh Solar Recharge, really strong card. Um in the in the um the concept of the archetype, Raiden is a pretty good normal summon, right? Like, I mean the the deck has some good cards and it gets a lot more with uh, with these right but like will this be playable by the time it comes out i have no idea you know i it, it looks like it's gonna be fun that's what i that's what i can say it, it looks like it's gonna be sometimes frustrating to play against it just looks like a basically uh reskin to like tier limits you know like it's just like another mill deck that maybe is good maybe is not because i also minerva the rank four the not even the the new one the the rank four is broken man like, the both Minerva extra deck monsters are pretty freaking good. You know, like, the rank 4 is really strong. The level 8 is really strong. You know? The second one is snow. Wait, this one? Why would, Why is this snow? Because it's a fiend and it kind of looks like snow. What does snow have to do with light swords? Oh, no, they do have to do something with each other. Because, like, Dark Smog also has, like, Raikou on it. They have something to do with each other. They sh they share some amount of lore, yeah. Okay, well. All right, it's snow. Cool. It's snow and vice. All right. <laughs> Uh, Shippai, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate the kind words. Thank you for being here for an entire year. Appreciate that so much. Thank you. All right. Um, now well, these are cool cards. These are these are cool cards. These are good cards as well. Most importantly, these are good cards. But when I say these are good cards, this does not necessarily mean the deck is going to be good. Um, there's a chance. 
right? There's a chance that that, that the, you can play a Light Sworn deck again. Um, definitely not out of the question. But it just remains to be seen. It, it simply does remain to be seen. But it's cool. Where, where do these drop? What is LEDE? -E? Is that main set? It looks like main set material, but I don't know. What What is it? Legacy of Destruction, main set. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Core set in April. All right. Is it the one after Phantom Nightmare, right? It's just after after Phantom Nightmare. Okay, so not too but not too far down the line. Not too far down the line. That's cool. All right. I'm looking forward to these. I mean, it looks like at the very least it looks like something fun to try out and mess around with. And if it's if it doesn't end up being viable, you know, then so be it. Also, keep in mind that like now that we have like we have a lot of tools if this ever were to become a thing. You know, you we have Biz Steals as well, like and I don't think Biz Steals are going anywhere anytime soon so you know we, we you've got a lot of counterplay to this kind of stuff as well and i honestly i would i would say the chance that we still have agido and kelbeck by the time not the highest not the highest I, at least i hope so copium you know I, I hope i hope by the time we get these cards we're not gonna have kelbeck and agido anymore but hey that maybe that's just copium Maybe that's just copium. Dan05, thank you for the uh, prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Bestials are probably good in this deck itself. That is fair enough. Yeah, you could like you you have a lot of lights in the graveyard. You have level four tuners. You go use a bestial, summon a level six, make this pattern, bring back whatever. You know, yeah, you can do things.